Okay. Are we set? Okay. I'd like to call the town board meeting of June 2023 to order. Please rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence to remember those who served our country in the past and for those who continue to protect our country today. Thank you. Please note the emergency exits at the door you came in and the door at the end of the hall and the doors behind us. Would you just get the sign in? Sure. <coughs> at this time, we welcome Tom Smith from EFPR to present our 2022 audit. Welcome, Tom. Thank you, Mary. Uh, hello to the entire town board for having me. I was going to go over the audit results for the year end of December 31st, 2022. Uh, we have reviewed the financial statements and the reports with management as well as the, the financial consultant of the town. We have, we're going to issue clean unmodified opinions on those financial statements tomorrow. Uh, we will be setting those out final. We did not come across any internal control weaknesses or significant deficiencies that you need to be aware of. If we did have any of that, anything of that nature, there is a report called the Government Auditing Standards Report and Financial Statements, where we would list those out, but we would make sure that you were aware of those before we issue the financial statements. Uh, from a highlight level, uh, with a few numbers, the general fund ended 2022 with a fund balance of $4.2 $4 million, which was an increase from the prior year. Uh, you see the highway fund also had a small increase, but he ended at $671,000 at year-end fund balance. The capital project highlights, uh, there was four capital projects that were going on, and that told, uh, there was a total of $1.4 million of expenses in that fund. Those projects were funded through a $900,000 bond anticipation note, which had a 4% interest rate. Uh, the non-major funds, those are the smaller funds, the uh, water fund, the sewer fund, and the special recreational fund. Uh, the water and sewer fund had decreases in fund balance from the prior year, so that's something to just keep an eye on. And a few other items to note is that the town did create a few new capital projects in 2022, as well as receiving $737 from the American Rescue Plan Act which leaves your total unspent allocation at $1.1 million. And we also did audit the Town Justice Court and we will be issuing a clean on my opinion on that report as well. So really at this point, point, I want to turn over to the Town Board. If there's any questions on either the audit or the financial statements that I can answer. Well, we had conversations prior and I, I thank you for your efforts and, and how efficient you are when you do it. I really appreciate it. And I'd like to take this time to thank everyone in the finance department because they're really a big help in um, making, keeping us on the straight and narrow and getting us these good reports. So I thank everyone in the finance department. Anybody else? Okay, okay. well, I really appreciate it, Tom. Safe travels, thank you. Okay. Uh, I've got some housekeeping items to attend to. I make a motion to suspend, suspend the rules to take two items out of turn, resolution seven and eight, as we are not ready to consider them at this time. I'll second. Roll call vote, please. Councilman, I'm sorry. Councilman Siegler. Aye. Councilman Benalini. Aye. Councilman Lemek. Aye. Councilman Warman. Aye. And Supervisor Cavucci. Aye. Resolution passes. I make a motion to take resolution seven and eight off the agenda for the town board meeting date that the town attorney can be present. We're looking for July 25th. Okay. I'll second. Town, uh, roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Lemek? Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Cavucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Okay. And um, I will quickly go through our agenda. We have um, established procedures for the town board meeting agendas. We're approving the vision insurance renewal, the life insurance renewal, the health insurance renewal, and making a board appointment to the CAC. Leonard, you had signed up for public comments? Yes. 
<coughs> Mary, I'm sorry, what did you say the July what? 25th. So I have some questions about the resolutions. But they're not on the agenda, so we're not taking questions till they come back up on the agenda. On those particular, I mean, you can, the oh, other no, agenda no, no, items. No, I'm not worried about that. Oh, okay. All right, I'll start out by saying, uh, my name is Leonard Jarrett, I live at 112 by a drive um, here in Poquay. No, I, I ask about the agenda resolution number three, which is about establishing the rules for making um, resolutions, submitting resolutions to the town board or to the supervisor for consideration at a, at a town board meeting. I know when I worked in the post office, if I was going to be late for work, I had to tell somebody I was going to be late, it would be considered an emergency. And they would either tell me, you have to get here on time, or they would tell you that it's your, it's your business, you have to be here. I think that you have to allow for late resolutions, even though I am not really 100% for it, because I think that it, it puts too much of a burden on everybody to try and put something in ahead of time. And some things you can't do ahead of time. Um, you can't anticipate a snowstorm, you can't anticipate uh, lights not working in the town hall or something like that. Number uh, four, let me get my glasses off. The life insurance increase, um, and number five, the 8.85 percent town health insurance. Is that um, I, when I read it, it said MVP gold policy. Is there such a thing as an MVP silver policy or bronze policy? That because life insurance is a, is a personal thing. Well, the life insurance is not for everybody in town. It's for um, prior to a certain year. So everyone doesn't get that. I think it's from, um, oh, it's like a 2016. Anyone who was in town prior to 2016 gets life insurance. Nobody else does. Okay, so the longer they serve. Well, no, if they had to have been in, an, in employment before 2016. All right, I just think the 8.85% is quite high. Um, also, number six, who is Patrick Corsese, I think that's how you say it, to the CAC? What, what, who is he? What is he? I mean, is he, I know he must be a town resident, but um, it would be nice to know who, who, I'm going to, who we might have to deal with in the future. And um, is it time? I guess that's basically what I, I have to say. I, I would hope that... Uh, you would consider changing that rule, um, putting things in ahead of, way ahead of time. I know you were putting them in the last minute a lot of times, so maybe that was a reason why somebody complained about that to make it earlier. Thank you. Thank you. Werner? Whereas Town Clerk Lorreen Epitantuano has provided copies of the minutes of the June 7, 2023 <coughs> Town Board meeting to all members of the Beekman Town Board, and whereas Town Board members have had the opportunity to review said minutes, now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board hereby accepts the minutes of the June 7, 2023 Town Board meeting. I'll second it. Town Board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Limek? Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. And Supervisor Capucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the Office of the Supervisor strives to make the regular town board meeting agendas available to the public at the early, earliest possible time. Now, therefore, be resolved that the Town of Beekman Town Board does hereby establish the following timeline. Department heads and town board members shall deliver agenda requests and submissions in their entirety, including request descriptions, justifications, and any backup data to the supervisor's, supervisor's office no later than eight days prior to the regular town board meeting in order to be considered for inclusion on the next meeting's agenda. Those resolutions, agenda items that are incomplete 
will be returned to the person or department head submitting them. These requests mm -hmm. may be resubmitted to the supervisor for consider consideration for the next regular meeting. I'll second that. Town board discussion. Councilman, oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Roll call vote. <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> Councilman Stiegler. Aye. Councilman Benalini. Aye. Councilman Limek. Aye. Councilman Norman. Aye. Supervisor Cabucci. Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the town vision insurance coverage is due to expire June 30th, 2023, and whereas the town has obtained a proposal for Marshall and Sterling Insurance for vision insurance coverage through Shelter Point Insurance Company with the rates remaining the same as the year 2022. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the supervisor is hereby authorized to accept the proposal as submitted by Marshall and Sterling Insurance with Shelter Point Insurance Company, and that the supervisor is hereby authorized to execute appropriate documents to implement the insurance renewal. I'll second. Town Board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Lima? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. Supervisor Cabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the town is renewing life insurance covering full-time employees and elected officials hired before January 1st, 2016, and whereas the town life insurance coverage is due to expire June 30th, 2023, and whereas the town has obtained a proposal from Marshall and Sterling Insurance for life insurance coverage through Hartford Basic Life and AD&D Insurance Company with an increase of 0 0.203 cents per thousand. Now therefore be it resolved that the supervisor is hereby authorized to accept the proposal as submitted by Marshall and Sterling Insurance with Hartford Basic Life and AD&D Insurance Company and that the supervisor is hereby authorized to execute the appropriate documents to implement the insurance proposal. I'll second. second. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Limek? Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Cavucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the town health insurance coverage is due to expire June 30th, 2023, and whereas the supervisor has obtained proposals of insurance, and whereas the town board has had time to review the attached proposal, now therefore be it resolved, oh, it should be, one of those should be crossed out, sorry, that the supervisor is hereby authorized to renew the health insurance with MVP with an annual increase of 8.85% as per the attached. I'll second. Town board discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Lima? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Board appointment to the CAC. Whereas the town board will make appointments to various boards, <laughs> and whereas a vacancy exists on the Conservation Advisory Board, and the chairman has interviewed and recommends the appointment, now therefore be it resolved that the town of Beekman Town Board does hereby make the following appointment. Patrick Chrissy to the CAC with a term to expire December 31st, 2023. Be it further resolved that all appointments are contingent upon completion and submission of the disclosure of interest statement pursuant to chapter 19-9 of the town code, unless already on file on the information has not changed. And be it further resolved that all appointees shall file their oath of office with the town clerk of the town of Beekman prior to serving their term. I'll second that. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler. Councilman, okay. Aye. Councilman Battellini. Aye. Councilman Lima. Aye. Councilwoman Warman. Aye. Supervisor Cavucci. Aye. Resolution passes. Okay. Resolution 9 of pay, uh, payment of claims. Whereas the bookkeeper has ordered and approved claim, claims pursuant to section 119 of town law as set forth in the attached abstracts. Be it resolved that the payment, therefore, is hereby authorized as follows. Claims will be paid from the A General Fund, $51,825.90. Claims will be paid from the DA Highway Fund, $20,371.54. Claims will be paid from the SS Dover Ridge Sewer, $4,174.12. Claims will be paid from the SW Dover Ridge Water, $11,010.89. Claims are paid from the T Trust Fund, $4,569.50. Claims are paid from the H Capital Fund, $270 for a total of $92,221.95. Uh, June 8, 2023, payroll number 12, 
Out of the general fund, $35,692.75. Out of the highway fund, $22,045.13 for a total of $57,737.88. No second. Town board discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Lemek? Aye. Councilwoman Worman? Aye. Supervisor Cavucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Okay. Um, I just wanted to make a couple comments. Um, back, baseball had closing day this past weekend. It was a wonderful event for the kids. They brought it back after a lapse of a couple of years, and it was really a fun experience for the children. Um, uh, the sheriff um, funded a ice cream truck for the kids and they were really enjoying that um, and they got little trophies and um, had a dunk tank too mm -hmm. I believe so that was a really nice event to bring back to the town and I'm excited to um, move, working with back moving forward um, the last concert was incredibly well uh, attended there was about 150 people we had a great night the next concerts are July 28th and August 11th we have food trucks and um, at the next board meeting, I'll give you more details on that. But that was a, a fun evening, and I encourage people to come out. Um, our next regular town board meeting is going to be Tuesday, July 11th, um, 2023, at 7 p.m. Does anyone have any other? Uh, the fire department filled that dog tank for them. Oh, well, okay. that was very nice of and, you guys. And my uh, six-year-old granddaughter threw a pitch. And dunked her coach. Wow, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Tickets to the uh, Renegades game. Oh, that's exciting. Very nice. Well, that was a nice, that was a treat for her. Yes, it was. <laughs> and her coach. <laughs> that worked out well. That. And I hope everyone had a wonderful Father's Day. I know the father in my house enjoyed his, his day. And we appreciate everything he's done for our family, as I'm sure everyone here has appreciated their fathers. Okay, so I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. No second. There's no public comment? No, nobody signed up. Okay, sorry. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Our thanks to those who came today. Safe travels home. The meeting is over.